I'm Shay Russell for mining.com.au and with me in the digital studio today is Marty Costello, the Managing Director for True North Copper. Marty, how are you today? Fantastic, Shay. Great to meet you again. Yes, it's great to be in your company again, albeit digitally. Now, I'm very excited about what you guys are working on up in Queensland. And as I did conf confess off camera before, I do have a soft spot for base metals projects. So let's tuck into today's announcement. Look, today's announcement's about four months in the making. Um, we, we've we been working with Nabari for quite some time. Um, they're a very prestigious and reputable global uh, resource investment fund. Um, we've, we've uh, you know, today's announcement culminates that. So we, we've signed binding, uh, executed documentation for this finance facility, which really means that uh, we can execute our plan of bringing the Cloncurry project into production, uh, sustainable production um, in the in the uh, months and years to come. Uh, also, too, you left off an important figure there. This is no tiddler of an agreement. This is a $42 million agreement, I believe. Most definitely. And look, Shay, most of that, um, what we've structured the deal, you know, we've, we, we, along the process uh, of uh, speaking to a number of funds and, and a number of financial in institutions, you know, we were very selective about which group we wanted to uh, align with. That, uh, that uh, and I guess Nabari um, are, are fairly like-minded. They're all about long-term partnerships. Um, we, we worked on making sure there is uh, the, the funding available for us is not only meeting, require meeting our, uh, our existing um, production requirements of getting the Concurry copper project into full steam, but not only allows us to grow, uh, continue with our growth strategy going forward. Now, Marty, I had a script. I reckon this script's about to get tossed out of the window because you said something really interesting in your answer just there. Uh, and I actually think investors might want to hear about it. You mentioned grow the company in a sustainable way. What do you mean when you say that? you are doing the work to ensure that the business, uh, regardless of what stage you are in the commodity pricing cycle is, is um, so, uh, sustainable as in profitable. It can maintain itself. It's not relying on continual investment from shareholders for survival. But not only that, we are look, also looking at things like bringing in AI in the years to come to assist, uh, allow us to enhance our production, try and minimise our disturbance footprint. Um, we're, another initiative we're doing this year is uh, is the uh, the solar uh, panels. So we're putting in a three uh, megawatt facility on our rehabilitated landform. Now that's going to provide uh, renewable power for us um, and, and for the years to come. Um, well after we're gone, it'll provide power for the for the local community as a former equities analyst you actually dropped some absolute nuggets in there for everybody listening uh and i really like your emphasis that you just put there on uh reducing your disturbance footprint i don't think enough um people are aware of how miners and explorers are trying to minimize their impact on the environment so thank you very much for drawing attention to that in today's conversation that's a lovely bonus today it's all about the most sustainable way you can use you know, the disturbance. And that can be pulling out the mineral, but not only that, you're looking at, okay, what is this landform that we're creating and how do we use it um, most effectively um, post, post mining as well? And that's all part of the business in my point of view. All right, now at some point I do have to get this interview back on track. Bringing it back to today's announcement, it, this comes hot on the heels of something more recently in early January where you announced the market an off-take agreement with Glencore. Uh, now this is a mining giant of the uh, resources industry. Uh, tell me, how does this clear the pathway to production? Glencore is a major uh, stakeholder and supporter of Northwest Queensland where, we're, where, where we operate. We are, we are a fellow but business of Northwest Queensland. Our stakeholders and our a lot of our shareholders are in uh, Northwest Queensland. We see it as uh, a partnership between Glencore, not only with offtake, but also facilitating toll milling. So we that that toll milling agreement allows us not have to find the capital to build 
um, or refurbish our existing um, copper concentrate, but also maximise the infrastructure that we have around us. Um, um, so that that allows that that in terms of the partnership, and that's a life of mine contract with respect to up to a million tonnes of processing capacity per annum. We also then have um, the Glencore guys, you know, they have a lot of different um, business aspects in their in their portfolio up in northwest Queensland. And we, we're super excited about developing that relationship with them going forward uh, uh, in many different levels. Uh, now, Marty, True North Copper had a ripper of an IPO and you guys have started uh, 2024 really strong. Tell me, what can investors expect to see from you guys for the next couple of months? We want to be a company that we do what we say we're going to do. Um, I know sh there's been shareholders that have been frustrated with us in terms of it's been taking a little bit longer than we had anticipated. I guess the reason for that is, you know, once we kick off mining restart and, and commercial production, we don't want to stop. We spent, we invested heavily in ensuring we did advanced grade control over all our proposed pits and operations. That gives us, we, we, we then partnered up with arguably one of the world's best miners in Glencore and we are also have a great financial partner now with Nabari. What I'm trying to say is Jay investors can expect us to deliver on what we said we were going to do which is a, a profitable sustainable copper producer and we're not let's not forget we have one of the most exciting exploration projects and development projects in Vero and Mount Oxide. Um, we were actually the 12th highest, best copper intercept last year globally. Uh, the Vero, which was 66 metres at 4.95%. And, you know, I'm I'm super excited about doing more work on Vero, lots of work, uh, more work, more drilling. Uh, we've got so many different areas to highly prospective areas to uh, to chase going forward this in the year ahead. So it's all in summary. We do what we're going to do. We do what we say we're going to do. It is a profitable copper, sustainable business with an um, an amazing exploration profile, our uh, portfolio that we look forward to uh, developing in the future. Marty, I'd like to just agree with you there. You're a company that sets out to deliver. Uh, I'm really excited about what the future holds for True North Copper. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks very much, Shay. All the best. <laughs>